Is there a sports team in the MIT? Oh my gosh, yes. I'm on the gymnastics team. Oh, really? Yeah. Actually, this, this is very specific towards gymnastics. <laughs> Do you or any of your teammates use like physics genuinely during your routines? How do you imagine that we might use physics in our routines? Like you, I don't know, you see the trajectory in your mind and then you like try to see if you could do the velocity along with the gravity, the whole yeah. thing, <laughs> like the whole trajectory, everything. Hi, Yumna. My name is Kaylin and I'm one of Abby's teammates on the MIT gymnastics team. Thank you for your very interesting question because as someone who does both physics and gymnastics, that's the kind of thing that I do think about a lot. On bars is where I think the most about how the energy that I'm putting in translates into the energy that I'm getting out. Whether I'm going from you know a front support on the bar, casting up into a handstand, or swinging all the way around in a giant, I'm thinking about the speed that I have coming down into the bottom and how it's crazy that I can still hold on to the bar and not absolutely fly off, but you know, centripetal forces will keep me going and complete the circle. I'm always dying to know, like, Simone Biles is so yeah, good. That's what made me curious, because how is that possible? The speed she's going at and the height is, um, physically, it's almost impossible. Exactly, how is that possible? Yeah. How is it possible? <laughs> Yuna, to be honest, I don't know how Simone Biles does it either. We can describe the amount of momentum she has running into her tumbling passes, her namesake, Biles. Hold on, let's watch that back really quick. The Biles is just one of many skills named after Simone. This one is a double flip in a laid out position with a half turn at the end. The flat body shape is one of the most difficult to flip in because your body is less compact and rotates slower. You'll notice right here, she brings her arm in. This initiates the half twist by creating what's called angular momentum. You know, even if I can understand some of the physics involved in what she does and can do some of those calculations, the fact that an actual human can go out and do those skills is absolutely mind boggling. I just love science. I like, mm. I don't know how to, I know it sounds so vague, but just anything related to science, to like the intricates of physics, of like maybe even a bit of chemistry, even though I don't really understand it, but just like, the details of everything and how the world works and how everything is connected is just so fascinating to me. Yumna, those sentiments are something that I think you'll find in common with a lot of scientists. That maybe growing up they didn't know exactly what they wanted to do, but you'll find this absolute love of learning and finding things out in the world. So if you want to pull things in from chemistry and computer science and physics all at once, there's a ton of different fields that will let you do those. So you can always be studying something that keeps you curious.